Hello everyone and welcome to more How Good Are Today. We're gonna talk about some good characters, or at least one of them. We're gonna talk about the rabbit of gambling and casino stuff. We're gonna talk about Yukika. So we're gonna start with Yukika, who has two exile discs and two charge discs. The discs sadly are like the worst part about her, but don't worry, it gets really, really interesting. This is one of the this is actually one of my favorite characters in the entire game. I don't actually have her, and I don't actually even if I had her, I probably wouldn't use her, but just the stuff that she does is one of the most unique and interesting parts of like any character in the game because guess what? She has a theme, a gameplay theme that she can play around that actually barely anyone has. I don't actually, no actually I don't think anyone else has this specific playstyle and I think it's absolutely, absolutely amazing. However, uh, so what is it about her while well, she's balanced type, her stats are pretty alright, a tiny bit more on the defensive side. Personally I would have liked it a bit more if she had more attack. We're gonna see why in a bit, but it's at least very good that she has high HP. Uh, it's not that high, but it's decently high. She has decently high HP and really good defense as well on top of that, which is kind of important to have once we see her playstyle. Her connect isn't actually that great. I, I don't care much about her connect. I mean, it got defense pierce and crit on it, which is fine, which is good. It's it's not bad. It's, it's a good connect. It's just not what you would play her for is what I would say. But yeah, it's fine, it's okay. Uh, her, uh, her Magia, strength and damage, all enemies as HP is lower. Oh, that is interesting. It does a lot more damage if, okay, not a lot more. It does plenty more damage if her HP is lower. Um, I think the max amount of damage bonus is at like 20%. I think that's when you get the most amount of damage. Um, which is 469 <laughs> nice, uh, percent damage, which is pretty good. It's a lot more than most other AoE Magias, that's amazing. It also gives chance of critical hit self, two turns, 100%, yes! Keep in mind that the, one of those turns will be the turn that you use the Magia in. So, you use the Magia, you already got one of those two turns where you can critical hit, so if you use two discs after that, those two discs will crit, and then you have one more turn where the, your three crit, uh, hit discs can crit. Of course they have to be Yukika discs, she doesn't give this to anyone else, just herself, rather egotistical. It also gives HP restored to self, so you can be at low HP, get the damage bonus and then heal yourself up a bit, which personally I don't actually like. I would This would be a lot better, a lot better, if this was either Endure or Survive. Because you kind of want to stay at low HP. For the, for the Magia? Yes, for the Magia. But not just for the Magia. So... I'm gonna get to spirit enhancement. Oh and oh, this is this is very gets good. I'm gonna rub my hands. This really gets very very good. Attack up when a critical health ten percent damage. Defense up a critical health twenty percent. Oh, what? That's that's good. Attack up a critical health ten percent. Defense up a critical health twenty percent. What? Oh oh, what is what is that? Attack up ten percent. Oh okay, just attack up ten percent. Attack up a critical health ten percent. Oh oh, are you, are you seeing this, guys? Critical health, critical health, critical health, critical health. Oh my god, she kind of turns into a Super Saiyan critical health. Isn't that amazing? Critical health is, I think, 20% by the way. Like 20% health or lower, which I think for her HP pool is like uh, like 7,000 or something HP. Something, uh, maybe some, between 7,000, 8,000 with Awakening bonus, maybe 8,000. So somewhere around there, um, she gets... How much attack? Let's do the math. First off, she gets 10% just all the time. So, I mean, your attack style, it's decent, so it gets a bit more decently with this. But when you get to critical health, you get, well, 10, 20, 30, a grand total of 40% attack up at critical health. <gasps> That's kind of amazing. Just from Spirit Enhancement, without anything else, without any memoria, just from being Yukika at zero slots already, if you are on critical health, you gain plus 40% attack up, which is absurd. Oh my god, and it gives a bunch of a defense up, so against weaker enemies you might actually survive a bit on critical health. That is so absurd. And guess what? She has an active that gives herself crit for a turn. And also evade, but both of these 55% chance, yay! So you know what? We can kind of see now why she's a gambler. She really loves to gamble, but you're gambling with her life. You're gonna put her on low HP, but you're gonna have to get a low, to low HP first. 20%, 8,000 HP. It's not that much. You might just get killed before you get there. Yeah, like, you, like you're on 10,000 HP and you die immediately. That can happen. Uh, what if you get one shot from full health? What if you get to low HP, but then you don't draw her discs? Ah, well, with her 
active at least, if I can find it. Uh, with her active uh, experience enhancement, not experience enhancement, personal, not experience enhancement, the personal, you can actually get to redraw her discs, uh, which is fine. Not her third discs, in general, you get to redraw discs if you have a terrible hand, which is fine, I guess. But this might not be exactly the kind of person, uh, personal, the kind of uh, active that you might want to play. We're gonna see some great actives in just a second. But you can kind of see that. Her playstyle is gambling. You try and get to low HP, you try to keep her at low HP, and then you just crit your opponent dead with her active and just sort of throw your hands up in the air, Jesus take the wheel, just roll the dice, if it hits a six, you win, if it hits a one, you die horribly, explode into pieces. Um, and that's amazing, that's amazing. I love that we actually have a character who has a theme who plays like that. Now, how can you do that? How can you get to, to low HP? How can you reliably do that without dying? Well, there's two effects that are gonna really help you out. First to survive, which makes it so you can't die. So this is basically the best effect you can give her. So if you were to die, instead you stay at one HP for the rest of the turn. So even multiple attacks, it won't kill you. Um, however, it then regenerates 20%, which I think slightly puts you above the threshold for that. Um, and the only the only ways to get that is to um, connect with uh, to get a connect from Haruki Sayaka or Ultra Madoka. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Not really anyone else can give it to other people. So, maybe not survive. You know what? Maybe not gonna take survive. Maybe. Gonna take Endure. Endure is the other effect. You survive one fatal attack with 1 HP. It's just one attack. But a lot of the times, just one attack will be enough to survive the turn. A lot of times. A lot of times. Connect wise, you get it from two absolutely god awful characters. So, let's not worry about connect. Let's get to worry about what Memoria give it. So, green Memoria, personals, we can't use those. Blue Memoria are. Memorial that everyone can get, but they're limited to events, kind of sadly. But we're gonna look at these three Memorial. The first one is an exceptional stage um, with a terrible character and also best girl next to that. So we have chance to chase 50%. I mean, she gets quite a bit of attack, especially if she's at low HP, so the chase can actually do somewhat good damage. But more importantly, it gives Endure to self. Yay! This is a Memorial that you can use on Yukika when she's dropping low to make sure she survives on low HP. And then you can absolutely go ham on people and explode people's faces. Uh, next up we have Mummy of the Land of Sweets, which was for the Mirror World Chocolate Tier Part 2. By the way, this Memorial was from the Halloween Login Bonus 2019. Yeah, I think it's actually in the shop right now during the Halloween 2020, if I'm correct. Yeah, it actually is in the shop right now during Halloween 2020. It even says down here. But yeah, what's the Halloween bonus 2019? Um, then we have Mommy Land Sweets from the Mirror World Chocolate Tier Part 2. Uh, I think it was the event memorial that you got from just playing the event. It gives anti counter, which is totally fine. It gives attack of 30%, also totally fine. And endure one turn, also really nice. This is probably one of the best memorials you can play on Yuka, in my opinion. Not only that, does it give a lot more attack up, but it also gives the amazing endure uh, to stay alive. And it I guess if there's enemies that could counter you dead through Endure, they can't do it with this, but that doesn't really happen too much. Uh, and also another one that you can use is Our Thoughts as one, which was from Tarot Event Part 3. I think also the event memorial they got from just playing the event. Uh, one turn, Endure, and then it regenerates 16% HP, which doesn't get you out of critical health, at least, and you stay in critical health after that, but still 16% is not that much, but because of your uh, defense bonuses from being at, at critical HP, you probably can survive a little bit longer uh, against low HP, uh, low damage enemies, and that's gonna be nice. So this is also another really great one to play. You can play both of these, and then just endure for two turns. That said, if you're staying at low HP for two turns in a row, you're probably gonna die at some point in there through endure. But even so, Yurika is one of the most fun characters in the entire game because she, like I said, she is only one of the only characters in the entire game that has a unique gameplay style. Um, and if you play to that gameplay style, if you play to playing uh, uh, on low HP, you get that, you get that Royal Flush out there. Royal Flush, roll the dice, get two sixes, nice enemy explodes into tiny little pieces. It's a great firework to see. It's amazing. And maybe some of you out there have probably already seen this in maybe in Mirrors, where you play against a Yukika. There, like when, when this came out, by the way, like when this Spirit Enhancement first came out, uh, some people played solo Yukika on turn one, used active. And just sort of hoped they dropped to critical health and then just one shot the entire enemy team for like 50,000 plus damage on every single hit, which was really, really fun. Uh, it wasn't fun if you played against that and got hit by that, but you know what? That's amazing. We love that. We love Yukika. You know who we also don't actually love that much? I mean, it's Felicia Chan. I mean, yeah, we, we don't dislike her. We don't dislike Felicia Chan, but try and find someone who plays her. 
I no one plays her. I mean, we're gonna see why. So she has two blasters, two charges, which is fine. She's an attacker, that's totally fine um, for an attacker. No personal, because I think most, if not all, uh, Magia, Re Re Magia report characters have no personal for some reason. Um, and yeah, she was available as a low rarity character, as a three star character uh, in the Gacha. One of the only three star Gacha characters that later if not the only one that later, at a later moment, got uncapped to 5-star. Some people might say, oh yeah, but Uwasa Truno, she also got uncapped to 5-star. Yeah, but she was at 5-star uncapped immediately when she released. Felicia Chan, I think, got it later, like a year later or something, uh, maybe even this year, that she got uncapped to 5-star. That's pretty cool. Uh, what are her stats? Her stats for an attacker are, I mean, they're not terrible. I mean, she's low rarity character, so because of that, her stats aren't going to be that amazing, and they really aren't that amazing. She's really squishy, and her attack is only okay for an attacker, not actually that great. Uh, but like I said, she's a low rarity character that a lot of people got from just rolling on that um, gacha. I didn't, because I didn't care for the other character who was in this gacha. It was Rina-chan. No, not Rina-chan. Um, it was Registar, so it was Iroha-chan. I didn't care for her either. Um, so what does she actually do? Well, her connect gives charge attack damage up, uh, which is fine. If, you, if you're playing on an attacking team that sort of combines both blast and charge, this is an alright effect to have on your connect. And it also gives attack up 40%, so this doesn't look too bad. And it also gives skill seal to self. Yeah, if you use this connect, this your chance skill seals herself. For two turns. Amazing! You can play a passive Memoria that has anti-skill seal, or you say to yourself, I don't care and just do it anyway. Um, I mean, if you are not gonna use active in the next two, any active in the next two turns anyway, then I guess it doesn't matter. But still, I think this is funny as fuck. Um, what else, it, what else do we have? Magia, damage has one enemy. It's only one enemy, which kind of sucks. MP gain down. Okay. 15 50% MP gain down to one target. I've, I've brought this up in another video, but single target uh, bullying with MP gain downs and stuff isn't actually that effective because on nodes, on challenge quests where enemies have powerful magia, there's usually multiple enemies on the enemy side and just screwing over one of them uh, out of their magia is not gonna do that much if instead, why not do something that can screw all of them out of their magia by using a Meteor Rain. Yeah, I know Meteor Rain is the answer to everything, but it really is the answer to everything. Uh, and a character that isn't even better than Meteor Rain, like, if, or isn't even better than an Active Moria. I don't know about that. Speaking about that, defense down to one enemy. Just run Meteor Rain, do it to every single enemy. <laughs> uh, but at least, guess what? It gives HP restored to self, which is actually kind of important, because of something we're gonna see in a second. They also have Beatrice. We are uh, themed after Beatrice von Chenchi, I think. Uh, and then we also have the Spirit Announcement, of course. What's it, what's it do? Some standard notes, standard notes. Crit Evade and Anti Evade, which are all three notes that you get from being an attack type. And, oh, guess what? 20% attack up while at max health. That's cool. It's not that much. Uh, sorry. Uh, it's not that much. I mean, she doesn't actually have that much attack to begin with. I mean, compared to other attackers. Other attackers, um, at least f like natural foster attackers, get to like 12,500 or something, or some, somewhere around that. <coughs> so, getting 20% on top of her attack, like, only barely puts her above that. Also, keeping, keeping in mind that the more attack you have, the less more attack on top of that will actually be worth. So, yeah, this isn't as amazing as it might sound, but still, it's a nice effect to have. It's easily the best effect out of her entire spirit enhancement, and it's, it's decent. It's a decent effect to have. And it synergizes with her magia. Hey, there's that's something nice. Her magia heals her up, so it makes it more likely that she gets to uh, full HP. But of course, it also means that uh, if you're not at full HP and you use the magia, the magia itself doesn't get the attack bonus. But at least you have it afterwards, and you keep her alive for a bit longer, which is important because she has terrible defenses. Well, does, what else does, it, does she have where she can give defense down to all enemies and MP gain down to all, all enemies? Once again, MP gain down to all enemies is actually better than doing it against a single enemy. Um, and that's fine. That's just, This is a fine effect, but once again, Meteor Rain is just way better. And you might say, it's not it's not fair to compare anything to Meteor Rain. Yes, you're right. You're, you're just right. But I mean, even, even outside of Meteor Rain, this effect is just... Eh. Yeah, 50% defense down doesn't do a whole lot. It's just... Eh. And I mean, keep it in mind, like I said, the connect sort of skills yourself, which I think is funny. Um, so overall, she's kind of 
low, very low budget uh, attacker character that you can at least do somewhat decent damage to. Like, even if you just started a new account, imagine you started a new account during um, either of the Mago Report events and you got her doing the gacha, because for some reason you're on a fresh account and you roll for a Mago Report character, which is weird, because not even that good, um, and you somehow get her, you can only, you can get like this node only, just this node alone, and then just do some good damage while farming low challenge quests, nodes or whatever, which is gonna be fine, but it doesn't really do much else. Let's look at Yukika again. She's amazing. Wow, we love Yukika. Wow, amazing. As always, just hit that subscribe button, uh, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys next time.